could have so far. Whoa. Alright. I'm gonna check this audio. Where's my other phone? This beat is cold for no reason. I swear, I just sit here for like a good three minutes before the video start and I'm just rapping. I'm just spitting random bars. It, they sound garbage because it's like more inside stuff than just, oh yeah, bro, that's real deep. But you can still understand what I'm saying because you can like imagine what I'm talking about. All right, let's check this audio. Hey. All right. Okay, I got what I needed to see. Hey everybody, Radio is over here. We're playing after party again. We got a good amount of likes on the first video. Why is people texting me now? Wow. Uh, you just don't get a response like two hours ago, but now they want to text you. Um, Alright, so like I said, we're playing after party again. We got a good amount of likes and some comments. Everybody's wondering, how did we die? Well, how did Milo and the, the other person die? I forgot. And if you're wondering, if you're going to try to call me sexist because I only remember Milo's name. I remember a show called Milo's Law. I think that was the name. I didn't really watch it because like Phineas and Ferb and everything has already ended around that time. So there's no reason really going. Disney XD and Gravity Falls has been gone for a while. So I've mostly just been chilling. But yeah, let's get into part two. All right, let's play. Uh, that I just go on Instagram the first thing it says is me sucking Trevor's Trevor Scott's okay you know I'm not even gonna read that one just leave that one alone Lord Satan hope everybody's having a good day um, yeah I just hope everybody's having a great weekend overall really mine is going pretty cool I was skating yesterday if you have me on Instagram or follow me which is in the link in the description, you can see me skating. And my account is not private, so I won't know. Anybody I mostly I don't follow back all the time. As much as it looked like with my nine hundred well, something. What the hell are we supposed following. to do now? I have no idea, Milo. Who am I playing as? Who Quentin Time freestyle I heard they just been poor prank or some stupid. Hey, you two could have told me that guy got another ride. What? Oh, yeah, I remember this. Jimmy? I was looking for him earlier. The guy got another ride, that's all. She had me confused. What? You could've fucking told me. Like, the, it just came out of nowhere Sorry. with that girl, too. We didn't know we were supposed to tell you anything. We just, we just got here. I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, you're confused. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm being mean. Okay, I'm a psychopomp. Friend of Urshanabi, Tooth of Phlegius, Charon's lost dog. Uh-huh. I'm a, I'm a cab driver. A ferryman, to be a uh, specific. Oh, a psycho pump. Yeah, you you got it. What would hell need cab drivers cab for? I don't know how aware you are of the infrastructure here, but I just fell through the floor into a phantasmagorium. Ooh, yeah, no, uh, that that'll happen. Look, I just clocked in, but I need a fare. You guys look clean enough. You want to roll with me on a chore? I got to do. It's at first an izzard. I got to see about a friend, but I'll introduce you to some people. Huh? I'm Sam, by the way. Sam Hill. Short for Oh, Samantha. Sam Wick Wicky! Short for Silithial Machidial. Milo. Mola. Mr. Milo? Miss Lola? I'm nicer than I look. What do you say? You know what? Sure, we got nothing I else to do. I promise I won't bite. At this point... Again, the same feeling I did when that guy in the van tried to sell me a raccoon. I'm choosing to trust this. What the fuck else are you gonna do with your night, right? That's what I'm saying. Come on, my ride's this way. Won't be a long trip. Uh, so, uh, hell, huh? 
Yeah, the days have worn away, haven't they? I can tell you cats were new. Dead-eyed and pig-tailed. So I guess I'll hit the questions everyone has. First of all, whatever church you went to, whatever faith, they were a little right and a lot wrong. And if you didn't go to church, you were kind of right too. It's not like God takes attendance. Uh, reincarnation's a thing, but it's kind of like having triplets. It's pretty rare. Usually means there are a lot of hormones. Ah, oh, here's my little bundle of joy. I should give her a name. Never really had the time, though. Or the desire. Hop on in, but mind the leather. She talked a lot, I'm not even gonna lie. That one girl getting tortured. I forgot on what the tour I just remember somebody oh, okay. constantly it's getting uh, hammered. The, the sweat. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's probably you. Okay, everybody in? Great. Okay. So you still have your genitals and everything. I mean Oh snap. So, you're dead. You're in hell. It's bewildering, uh -huh. I know. But like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one thing at a time. So, for instance, what the fuck <coughs> are we driving on right now? This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell. And provides uh, fairy women like me a job. Islands of hell. Why the lagging right now? Islands of hell? Hell isn't just like one big land mass. What you think of hell is what's called the Nine Circles. The, uh... Conurbation, where everyone gets tortured during punching. But outside the nine circles is an infinite chain of islands we call nowhere. And it's what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say. Everything comes from the abstract, the abyss, the outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story, longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight, we're almost there. Okay, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast, so. And I ran out of the house without my flippers today, so. Play at the shore? How young do you think we are? Look, until you turn 200, you should require a car seat. Your brain's basically a litter box a cat died in. So, not that either of you asked, but this is first an izzard. I think the tourism board calls it the bludgeoning capital of nowhere. So, uh, okay. use hey, that information hey, Sam, as you will. Sam! What? Did you, did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and shares next. <laughs> Get some better material. How? Uh. Anyways, like I was saying, this is first in Izzard. There's a lot of cultural stereotypes about these people, and none of them are especially flattering. A lot of sweat and hair. A wet hayride is a euphemism for sex here. So like How do people, people live, live here? here? Uh, well, nobody really lives in hell. We're all just kind of a part of it. It's like North Dakota or those secret Chinese time travelers stuck in old Chicago. Wait, why'd we come here? If it's so dangerous, I mean, these are the types of people you think we should know? Um, what are you guys eating? Uh, no, whoever he was, he tastes like a prick. Oh. Okay, just keep walking after hearing that. Hey, excuse me. We're trying not to get dumbass all over our pants here. Oh no. I warned you at 18 goddamn times. You'll get your stomach back when you learn to behave. Didn't we run into that guy? Sam. Hey, how's it going? Eh, pretty good, pretty good. Is uh Forney in there? Fornius, yeah, he's fitting with his dick somewhere. All the kids Whoa. with you. Yeah, they're cute, right? I'm playing tour guide on my coffee break. All right, well, anything happens, I get their hair. Okey smokey, who's drinking? Cause I'm buying. Just kidding, you can drink for free, cause we're in hell. So we're gonna be all right in there, right? Sure, just uh, tuck your arms into your shirt sleeves. Okay. You, um, okay? Yeah, I think he's taking a time out. Um. Okay, let's go. All right, before we go inside, okay, I just gotta acknowledge some stuff around in hell. Um, man, does that sound weird saying? This is so weird. Okay, just try and try to put yourself in these people's shoes. Imagine just right now. Um, it sounds weird, but like so somehow you just die and then you're in hell somehow. 
I don't know what you did to get in there and you don't know how you died or what you did to go at the age you are right now. It's, this is so messed up. No one will be able to comprehend all that's going on right now. You're just trying to think. Look at this. It's a demon taxi driver. I don't even know what to think about right now. It's just these people are just hanging constantly towards in the most weird ways. I mean, like, it's like that when you, like, read Bibles and stuff like that. There's some messed up torture ways. I'm not fascinated in them because that's just pretty weird. Some, oh, snap, it's a snake biting his boss. Imagine that. No, that's just weird. But don't forget to subscribe. He, um, hit the like button if you're liking the video so far. And let's go inside. Yeah, nothing. Hey, after party. A bottle for everyone. Is that crazy? It's fun, right? My balls hadn't dropped yet. How would I think that was funny? Boom. Just drink it. Don't even well, look at me. Well, if it isn't the smelliest pile of puke in all of nowhere, Samantha Hill. How the heck fire are ya? Hey, Forney. Perfect timing. Guys, this is Fornius. Fornius, this is Milo and Lola. So you adopted two human children, and those are the names you gave them? I didn't pick their names. But you did adopt them. They're not mine. I'm just... We're not kids, all right? I got a savings account and everything. Tommy's having his party upstairs. Want a drink? They're right, ignoring us. We really are a kid right now. Wait, Sam. What, uh, what's the problem? Look, we, we didn't want to get into it earlier, but we, we actually want to try and get home if, uh, if that's. Okay, yeah, all right, that's, uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, we, we can get into it in a bit. Just, uh, just follow me, okay? Uh, Where uh, is home? All right. Where is home? Fornius! With one F, and we're just going upstairs to a Tommy's death day party. See you up there, kids. Let's go see if we can talk to somebody before we go up there, though. Yeah, let's get a drink. We deserve a drink. Um, excuse me, bartender. Do you have, like, uh, a menu? Or... Okay, okay. Give me a second, miss. A woman ordered a bitter lemon drop, and I'm trying to remember if I got any eggs. Come back in a minute. Whatever. Let's just go upstairs with Sam, Lola. Can we talk to anybody? What's going on here? As a human. This is weird. You just got humans just hanging around in hell. I wonder if we can... Nah. I'm ready for a Hitler joke to come um, out of excuse nowhere. Me. Private party. But our friend just went up. Sam? She's on the list. You ain't. You don't, you don't know our names? You don't even know our names. How do you know we're not on the list? I'm looking at you. That's more than enough information. Tommy Boy, the man of the hour. <laughs> hey, Father Van Dyke. Get over here. I got a new cocktail I need reviewed. Well, I'll happily be your willing test pilot. I think that's the guy having the party upstairs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm not wearing a bunny costume. Uh, get him get to him invite, to invite us? us up. Get him to invite us up. Yes, let's get a drink. All right, we got this. Oh, we can run. Where's all the button controls? I can talk to him. All right, Tommy. Sorry for the wait. What can I get you? Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know. What's uh? What do you recommend? Top shelf. A case of lung batter just came in. Excuse me, barkeep. We would like a... Uh... Hey, can't you stupid pieces of shit see there's a conversation happening here? <laughs> Van Dyke, it's okay. They're new. You're new, right? How you liking hell so far? Was the suicide pact worth it? Or uh, eating 50 raw eggs? I don't know what, what young people are into nowadays. Doesn't it's seem like so a, bad. The worst place I've been to. That gas station off of Fremont? Oh, it's still, you know... I mean, I don't know about you, Milo, but I've seen scarier versions of hell and tales from the crypt. <laughs> Let's be fair. It's scary. I'm scared. I don't... Nobody take it as a challenge. She's Lola. I'm Milo. We're actually just trying to... Wait, 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 wait. You're new. We gotta have a toast. Do a shot with me. Come on. Van Dyke, three brass bulls, if you please. Sure thing. If you ate before you got here, you might want to pre-throw up. And... Pre-throw up. Sure. Our livers are unkillable. Might as well take advantage. Wow, really? Guys, you should be honored. Lola is not the type for spontaneous, uh, revelry. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. 
Okay, cats and jammer kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here, this shit ain't two percent. Father Van Dyke's been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. Around the bend, let's go. Cheers. What? Oh, it's this and wrong. <laughs> Coughing uh, from bad. Goes drink. down smooth. Now you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer. Or if you have eyeballs, you'll notice yeah. you have an extra choice floating around in your brain. Yes, it could be said that you are now unshackled from previous concerns of societal appropriateness. Hey, you're right. Feels kind of weird. Like I grew an extra toe. You'll get used to it. But be careful what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jum! What the fu- What the shit is that you got on your head? <laughs> uh, sir, I'm not, a uh, Jim Jum. Uh, sure you are, Jim Jum. <laughs> Why I even called you you last uh, yesterday morning at night? Uh, buddy, we don't know any Jim Jum, okay? You got the wrong guy. Remember that that dance man when you scored all those points in the uh, that, the wheelbarrow? What? Come on, this guys. man is still this talking. Is a prime opportunity here to really utilize your drunken spirit. You got a brass bull in you, so use it. You remember, uh, Kristen? Boy, she. Hey, dickhead! Get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off. Jesus, you, you don't have to raise your voice at me. I know when I'm not wanted, I can, I can read body languages. Where's the latrine anyway? See you later. See? Having an extra little bit of confidence can really help keep the sailing smooth down here. Or, you I know, you can get the him. shit kicked out of you. Whichever side the coin lands on. But like I was saying, brass bulls tend to make people a little ornery. But try different drinks for different results. Christ, hmm. they sound like a fucking car commercial. T -t Tommy, are we having a <laughs> rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? <laughs> hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you kids. We didn't get invited. We We're missing our chance. We should go ask him, right? I mean, he's our ticket upstairs. Okay, let's get him. I thought we were friends. How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you once already. One more outburst, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Oh, wait. Maybe Hi. we should just egg those two idiots on. The bouncer will have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... How do you even know that'll happen? Doesn't that seem, like, advanced? Hey, whatever you want to do. I'm just a squirrel trying to... At this point, we might as well do anything. Where, where in the hell? Like, what do you expect? <laughs> Dick. <laughs> okay. Why, do, why are we getting another drink? Oh, Milo now. Hey, uh, guys, have, having a problem over here? Because maybe we can exacerbate the issue into a real dist with whatever your thing is. Look, if you work here or something, relax. I'm not going to get into a fist fight with this asshole. I've been kicked out of enough bars in hell to know the punishment's almost never worth it. I didn't think you'd take it so seriously. How could I not take it seriously? I was six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't work here. Do I look like I work here? Don't worry about Danny, okay? He's just a little steam because he found out his favorite stuffed animal from childhood. Georgie. <laughs> right, Georgie. The talking platypus. Well, he could only talk because I was possessing it all the time. And you don't think that's a betrayal? That's it was terrifying. a joke. I'm happy to see you, man. I don't know the you, talking man. platypus. I got sent to what? an institution because no one would believe me. I still can't take a piss without carrying a sport for protection. Okay, okay, calm down. I don't want the bouncer taking any of my good organs. And anyways, you asked me to staple your baby sister's feet to the floor. I was six years old! Mm, okay. Why are you in hell anyway? He ran a Ponzi scheme on some nurses. You said you didn't look at my file! Look, I just came over to say hi, okay? And I don't hold any bad feelings about you plunging that crucifix into my felt and cutting off my vacation early. You don't have any bad feelings? You don't have any! Keep it down, guys, or I'm coming over there. We literally gotta get y'all to get out of here so we can get up in the pot. Friendships, huh? Makes you wonder why they're not called friend slips, right? Because they're hard to, they're hard to keep people so of. awkward? Uh, this isn't going anywhere. We'll just see you guys around. What you're gonna see is my foot up this guy's ass is what you're gonna- Oh, hush. 
We didn't get the fight. We didn't exactly get them to cause a scene, did we? But if you want to keep poking the beehive. Ah, no, maybe we should try your thing. Talking to Tommy, just getting on the list. Whatever you want to do. I'm about to go keep poking the beehive. Hi Poke at the beehive. Yeah, hi. Danny, what do you want me to say, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry for making everyone think you wrote those messages in blood on your mom's bathroom mirror, all right? Don't laugh. Dang. This shit isn't funny. Ugh, never mind. I thought I had something to do with this. You don't. Oh, it was Lee, either. Okay, well, let's go try to talk to um, Tommy, whatever his name is. Hey, where, where is Tommy, actually? Hey, fellas. Beer pong, huh? Uh, my, my dorm room was next to the guy who won his league tournaments. That's awesome. You know what would be even more awesome? If you could stop talking and never start it again. Hey now, Artesia's consumer of negligent fathers, that's not cool. Milo, right? You wanna play around? It's really simple. <laughs> Easy to learn, hard to master, right? I've, uh, never played before. Is it like normal Pong? Cause in that, the ball bounces back. You catch on quick. Did you die drinking bleach thinking it was just really painful water? Uh, look, it's easy. God dang. Lola, okay. You and me, Bright Eyes. I'm going to wreck you. Lola? Do you want to, uh... Sure, let's play? do it. Uh, yeah, sure. Might as well I'm a learn boss. Pong, he just... I can still say I'm new. Gather round, everyone. This chickadee thinks she's a rooster already. I'm well, scared. Something bad about to happen. Roosters for breakfast. I couldn't even get the basketball Ooh. in that one time. Hey, all right. You make more well wishers with honey than with vinegar. <laughs> no, it's okay, guys. We really pride ourselves on our ability to trash talk down here. It's like, even if you lose, if you got in a few verbal jabs along the way, a few witty rejoinders. Yeah, should take your shot, shithead. Or we can okay. just call each other names, you know, whichever's faster. All right, I got this. Okay, if the oh, thing can move. chicken now? Um, that thing can move off the top of the screen. Should we bring out the oven? If I could wow. feel bad about anything, I'd almost feel that for you. I got this, y'all. Just give me a second. Don't You'll miss. miss. There we go. What? That was a hack. What am I supposed to do with this cup? Are we drinking more? You can do it. First you clown college. Now this. How do you know that? Hey, shouldn't there be an Amber Alert right about now? See that? This asshole's skills are missing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, that was fire. That was fire. Why are we drinking again? Come on, Lola. Someone put her out of her misery, Jesus. Tell me the truth. When you were born, the condom manufacturer had to issue an apology, right? <laughs> We're really about to make this do, man. If I had a controller, I'd throw it. Just throw the thing in the thing, Lola, and you'll have done what you should. Can you shut up, Milo? I am trying. I am trying. Good try. Oh my god. Please mess up. Enjoying this yet? I lost. I lost. Boom. What did I tell you, huh? Humans are good for two things. Beating them in beer pong and eating their babies. You're 10 yeah, million whatever. years older than me, and you barely won. Good job. I barely play this. I'm better at Hell's version of Quarters, which is Quarters, but less evil. <laughs> all right, all right. The kid's still a hoot, right? <laughs> Shouldn't there be an Amber Alert? Come on, she's a howler. I'm inviting them, all right? Uh, yes! They're goofy looking enough. You guys want to hang out more? I'm I don't know who's party upstairs. Right now. Just tell the big guy your name, and I'll put you on the list. Awesome. Thanks. You're oh. awesome. Let's go get Sam before he looks at us again and changes his Milo mind. Milo was really irritating me during all of that. Want a drink? Okie dokie. <sighs> Okie dokie. 
<clears throat> Forget something. Good sir, I believe we're on the list. Your parents must be proud. You know they what? are. You know what? They are proud of us. I just said that. I said it sarcastically though, honestly. But I feel like that's what Milo would do because this, uh, from what we heard a little wait, bit from school life. Welcome, welcome to Tommy Tulaney's Death Day Celebration. Death I saw day. you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, the, the guy we were... That's Thomas Tulaney, the serial killer? Kidnapped, tortured, and killed 13 young men over a period of six years. Yes, sir, Bob. Oh my god. Never caught though. Was, but but he was he was so nice to us. Yeah, you can't really slaughter a litter of boys in total anonymity without a few social graces. Have you seen Sam? Yeah, she's over on the balcony talking with Fornius. Sam completely abandoned us. Like we had to do a bunch of random junk just to get up here. Hey, thanks for, oh. for coming out. Really, I appreciate it. I can't believe After it's just party been a year. time? It feels a lot shorter and longer, you know? Oh, definitely. It won't take long. How do you know it won't take long? Something like this could take all fucking week. <clears throat> Lady, gentlemen. Forney. What's the word in the F word? A guy. You give him an inch, he takes a really long conversation. Sorry that took a while. How'd you even get up here? We sort of made friends with Thomas, the night scalper to Laney, so. Lola here lost to his buddy in Blood Pong. I talked such good smack, he invited us up. Wow, I'm impressed. You're a little old for Delaney. You know, but with Milo's head of hair, I can I can see the appeal, actually. Lola's overstating things. It was beginner's luck, really. Beginner's luck is only possible if you try, Milo. Lee Harvey Oswald taught me that. Listen, Sam, it's been a fun uh, hour or however long we've been here, but we really, we really want to get out, if possible. We just, we want to go home. See that big mansion down the way? The one having the party? That's Satan's house. He throws a rager every night, invites the fucking universe, tries to keep everybody's spirits up. You see, Hell's been in a bit of a low period recently. And by recently, I mean like the last thousand years. Nowhere in the Nine Circles, they used to be a place of, you know, creativity. Of uncompromised refusal to go to bed when you're told. We were the scribbled in margins and God's field guide, you know? And now, well, now people just like to get shit-faced. And I don't really know who we are anymore. Oh, so hell's terrible. Is that what you're saying? Why am I not shocked? I'm telling you this because it deserves context. What deserves context? You see, chums, there's one old practice that's stayed around. And Satan has a standing offer to anyone that wants to try. You outdrink him, you outparty him. He opens the door and lets you go back home. Back to Earth. Alive. To do whatever oh you want to do until God. you do something else. Okay, well, has anyone ever, like, done it? Oh, oh sure. Him, I mean, not since... When was Buddha farting around again? 500 years before Christ. Okay, well, there you go. And I think there was a velociraptor before him. Okay, so, yeah, okay, um, but you're saying the only way out of hell is out drink the Prince of Lies? We call him the Prince of Partying down here, but yes, you have to out party the Prince of Partying. Okay. Lola, I'm like an episode of regular Milo. show. Welcome to the show. Now, if you don't mind, I got other fares to pick up, so if you want to head to Lucifer's, now's the time. Well, there's nothing else to do, so yeah, let's go. I was about to start chanting, like, going there, but I was like, okay. We're in hell. I'm starting to get a little too attached to this game. I'm about to start chanting Satan's name for a reason. <laughs> Gotta get my cross chain, y'all. I can't believe that was a serial killer. I should have known. I was just thinking, I was like, I wonder where most like serial killing people are. Like some of these people are just us, basically us just walking around not knowing what to do until they get tortured. And some are just literal terrible people. Or just anything. I don't know, it's crazy. I'm playing a lot of games that involves hell recently. I don't know why. How, and I don't. 
long have you been a cab driver or a, a psycho psychopomp? Oh, a uh, good long while. Since I've been here, really. You know, it's hard to complain. I get to meet interesting clans, such as yourselves. Drift in and out of people's peccadillos. I think my life would make a good CBS sitcom, you know? I don't go on many adventures, oh. but... I feel like I'm always strangely getting involved in random folks' deaths. So, uh, <laughs> ever take any famous people? Like, who would you say was your most interesting fair? What, like in the last year? Sure. I took a woman who had gotten sent to hell. The first circle, mind you, so... It's not that bad, but still, she was sent there because she wore gold most of her life. Wait, seriously? Yeah, some book forbids it. I forgot which one, though. And God made it a tenant for, like, a weekend in the second century. She was the only one I'd ever met that was actually punished for it, though. The rules change all the time. Some what about a personal demon? Hey, my skin sponsors. The guy that thinks no one ever cheated on him. The sun is showing back up. And the gal that thinks she's gonna run a mid-level ad agency one day. Reach for the stars! Having a good adventure so far? I'm just about to clock in. Just wanted to... Wanted to let you know. Just so you're aware, I'm really excited to hit the ground blazing. Uh-huh. And uh, what does that mean again exactly? Oh, uh, it means I'll be popping up here and there to mentally and spiritually agonize you. T to the best of my ability, of course. I'm oh, still man. new. Personal demons are like mayflies or, or like a dime store gossip kids. They flare up like fireworks from the Correa Imaginativa. The, 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 the pits of, you know, Unus Mundus. But they can only hurt you if, you know, you're, you're too poor to afford therapy. Yeah. It's hard, okay? Animals, uh, plants, give demons something to work with. Most organisms fear being eaten or not dying quickly enough while being eaten, but humans aren't afraid of, like, not making money or dying before using a sex swing. Like, you people get nervous when you see a car drive on the sidewalk. Well, good luck. I'll try to act really, uh, sad or whatever when you show up with a picture of my favorite dead ants. Oh, come on, I think we could do a little better than that. Anyways, I'll see you around when you least expect it. <laughs> oh, quick reminder. Crowds, like them. You liked them, right? Mm, whatever, I'll look at my notes. Bye! You're like a Nightmare Before Christmas character. Anyway, my ride's just up here. People still got fun. Right, same place as Probably washy in hell. I figure you want to get there spittily lick if you're itching to get home before your oatmeal cools. So, uh, whenever you're ready, we'll head over. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna keep going with this video. Because last time I stopped around like 20. But I gotta, you know, I always gotta bring it up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're still liking the video, hit the like button. I know I'm not talking that much in this video, but that's because a lot of characters are talking and I tend to talk over characters mostly. Um, a lot sometimes. Then I want you guys to actually hear what they say. The dialogue is very nice in the game. It's not just like... It's not just something random. Just like, oh, snap! Before the dialogue even pops... I mean, um... Before the character even moves, moves in the way that they would say that. I don't know, sometimes it just be broken. And it's actually pretty cool in here. I like listening to what they're saying. And I think you guys do too. I've been getting a lot of comments of people saying like... Oh, why just get the dialogue? I read most of it, but they're talking right, in this one. Let's meet, uh, Lucifer. Spoken like a true necromancer. Next stop, <laughs> welcome away. Hey, uh huh. So Subscribe to Radio Zebra, uh huh. Do we call him Satan or the, the devil? What's his? Actually, am I caring too much about what Satan wants? That's probably not a good thing, right? First of all, take a couple of breaths, okay? Morning stars used to the whole, you know. Wow, it's really you. I can't believe it. Celebrity fawning song and song. Everybody falls into the reference trap. Cyrus the Great would have shaken his hand. I mean, you can't help it. Cyrus. But there's only <laughs> two things you gotta know about the little horn, okay? The first is that him and daddy had a falling out. After Lucifer thought he could run the family business better than his old man. He started the war, 
we lost the war, so we ended up here in Abaddon, aka hell, aka the place where it smells like a wet anteater even in winter. And second, he didn't make the rules, but he has to enforce them. Think of him like the first kid sent to detention and forced to become like a hall monitor. He knows he's a bit of a goober, and he doesn't like it any more than you do. But he still finds time to graffiti the bathroom every once in a while. Okay, but well, he's like evil, though, right? Like he invented evil. Oh, we're talking about the serpent and the forbidden fruit now? Well, if you ask me, he didn't invent evil. He invented uh, dissent, opposition. The idea of uh, going another way, of putting chocolate milk and chocolate cereal and not caring if it tastes like too much. Of calling your treehouse your house and your house your dirt box. Of doing your yeah, it does sound like you're defending. No, I can't help but feel like you're defending him, Sam. Morningstar doesn't need defending, Lola. He's got the best attorneys in the universe down here. Okay, I can see the lights. Almost there. Hold on. Yo, it's about to get weird. I hold. I wonder the Grim Reapers in this game. That'd be pretty cool. Welcome way. But is Last there a need for him? Watch, watch, watch your head. This place used to be, you know, actually, never mind. You gotta do the hike. We'll discover it for you. Luke's is the only house. It's the big one at the top. And remember, a night out drinking usually starts a little apprehensive. Songs of humanity's secrets only you and your mates know the lyrics to. Have fun. Text me to any cab stand if you need a ride somewhere. I'm usually just cleaning up here. You have a phone? Text her. Milo, we have a phone? Milo! You know, I always get nervous before walking into parties. Like, I get this idea that everyone's gonna turn and look at me right when I get there and just know that guy isn't cool enough to own a pair of sunglasses. Well, don't worry about it yet. See that giant-ass line of people? I don't think we're getting in for a while. No, there's... There has to be another way. Well, let's check it out. I'll go. Oh, let's talk to that person right there. See, how, how long has he been waiting? We shouldn't leave yet until we figure out if we can meet Satan. Yeah. Okay, Mr. I don't want to go without performing our... In Is this the foundation yeah. of uh, a house or something? I, I thought only Satan lived here. Well, yeah, now, but back in the day, this place used to be the fucking Grover's Corners in nowhere. Yeah, it wasn't just Satan. His fallen angel pals and him used to have the whole block. Why'd they move? Eh, some folks just like switching up the zip code every thousand years. Who knows? Wait, we shouldn't... We shouldn't leave yet until we figure out if we can meet Satan. <sighs> okay, Mr. I don't want to go without performing our entire purpose for being here. Yo, demon. This is the line to get into Satan's party, right? None other. Uh, where's your sleeping bag and coffee pot? Hold it, come on. Guys, there's gotta be some faster way. Haven't any of you seen Adventures in Babysitting? If a bunch of white fourth graders can get into a jazz club... There's a faster way, definitely. We see people cut through every night. Some people. Let's just keep on. Maybe we can convince whoever's at the door to let us in. I mean, we don't even want to, like... Party. Bro, every we demon just that just looks Satan, bing, like that we'll like scares me. <laughs> All right, let's try it. It's like an Wait, owl, bro. He's we just chilling up there. We shouldn't leave yet until we figure out if we can meet Satan. Oh my God, I'm so tired of hearing that. Okay, Mister, I don't want to go without performing our entire purpose of being here. I guess you're right. Yo, what is this elevator? Um, hello. Hi, I'm Gusta. I'll be your first floor carriage for the evening. It's the only way up. Unless you somehow smuggled in rock climbing gear. Uh, yes. As long as this is uh, Hell's version of an elevator and not, you know, someone's gonna, like, <laughs> mutilate us. Oh, heavens no. I can understand the concern, seeing where we are and all. Have all your belongings with you. Great, let's go. Huh. <laughs> Oh shit. Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. I had quesadillas this morning. <laughs> Second floor, dish mops, hand towels, and segregated washrooms. Just kidding. This obviously isn't a department store from the 40s. You're in hell. Okay. Alright, good talk. Diablo. 
Pablo. Oh, we're getting close. Are you all right? What time is it? A half hour after you asked me the last time. I mean, how long have we been standing here, jackass? Or ruins. You know, I'm surprised the devil would let anybody live on his property. You'd think he'd want Zanzibar all for himself. Oh, no. Quite the contrary. From what I've heard, Satan's a real people person, you know? Yeah, but didn't him and his friends have some kind of falling out? Maybe they just got sick of the line. Huh. Bro, those ones right there, the demons in this game that look like that, they so rude. I gotta be rude. We've met some nice demons. All right, time to take the elevator again. Hi, we'd like to look, lady. Just because I'm a demon in hell doesn't automatically mean I'm going to mutilate you. Heaven forbid. Do you cross the street when you see a gorgon carrying the groceries too? Oh, what? No. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take us up one, okay? Hop aboard, Slim Jims. Going up. Hold on to the sides. I honestly be scared because I'm I'm afraid of heights and just the way he just the takes off. And turbulence accounts for only two percent of falls. This man just skipped like two floors. Floor, oh, everybody out. Damn, why is he so aggressive? This man is mean for no reason. It's like a broken Ferris wheel right here. All right, let's see. Hey, so this Ferris wheel for my nightmares apples, looks like it's bananas, seen better days. Carrots, donkeys, Maybe turning the island into a horrifying amusement park scared Satan's neighbors away? Nah, I used to die for this shit. Then why'd they move? What was the falling out? As long as it keeps the foot traffic away. Don't know, don't care. Why'd that man talking about carrots, bananas? Like, stop talking. There we go with this again. I'm tired of asking people. Can now. we, uh. Yeah, yeah, I'll take you up. Don't have any time to learn nothing about somebody, I guess. No, no, no. We. We don't. Let's just hurry you along before I accidentally mutilate you. Because apparently that's all we demons are good for mutilating. Okay, we. We're getting a little in the weeds here. I, um. We're sorry, okay? We're just. We're just trying to get to Satan's house. Oh, it's alright. It's just. This is my shit I'm unloading on you. Don't. Don't worry about it. <sighs> it's been a long night. Cage is in motion. Head it up, people. I mean, like, I guess they know. I can see why they oh, irritated me. Satan would just make more stairs. Because Satan likes to keep demons employed, that's why. Fourth floor, get the fuck out. Wow, okay, you know what? <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say after that. They get meaner and meaner. What if a demon just stops doing his job? What happens? I don't even care about the dialogue. I mean, so it gets uh, weird when you constantly keep asking people stuff. Hi, I'm Ballister, your fourth floor carriage. Want to go up? Great. Great. That's... Yes, thank you. It's the nicest one here. Your uh, associates seem a bit on edge tonight. Only the bottom and top floors have bathrooms. Oh, uh, okay. Fifth floor... The Tibbity Top, Zipova, 616, Welkin Way. Everybody out! Alright, this person's pretty chill. Yeah, campfire, I gotta heal up. Look how depressed that one demon is over there. On the edge, just think about life like, man, I need to get employed. There's people that look just like me. Would anybody notice if I left? Feel you, demon. Oh shit, uh, Jerry! I, no. I mean, Terry. Bicker's blowing up. Ugolino has an extra invitation. Not one of these people. Um, sorry, but what's what's Bicker? It's the social media down here. Look at your phone. It comes pre-installed. There, see? You can get good info on what's going on in hell. Yo, uh, what's the commercial say? Geotagged, user specific. It's a nice way to distract from the perpetual Those pills aren't about us, right? Or to just post pictures of your pets lying in sunlight. Uh, those posts aren't about us, right? I mean, there's probably another Milo and Lola here. No, it's about you. You rarely see posts not about you. It's pretty user-focused. I mean, what's the point of social they media have been not about a us? reflecting your every insecurity? Another thing. Oh, our personal hey, deep. No, he Milo clocked in. Still on that mission to get out of hell, huh? I'll just be going into the party now with my special uh, VIP invitation. Aren't you coming? Oh wait, you? you can't. 
Can we okay, go with can you? We, can we go in with you? You can, like, mentally torture us in there if you want. Uh, can we just go in with you? You can, like, mentally torture us in there if you want. Laugh at him, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that thing, Lola. Let's just check Bicker and find other people with a spare invite. Wow. Okay, cool. Look, here. There's... Uh, I see two of them, and uh, we only need one. <laughs> you can't see taking this we'll phone like that. There's... There's a demon says he needs help apprehending someone. And a woman, Linda, who says she has an invite to give away. She just wants someone to get her a drink. This'll be downright easy. Yeah, this is not gonna be that easy. See this huge line? If it was that simple, they'd all run off and bargain with these losers. Nah, they're all just... Wasn't it you who told me about that test that proved people would wrongly stand in a longer line just because everyone else was doing it? Mm, it wasn't me, but whatever. It beats waiting around. Let's get back and text Sam to pick us up. Wow. Whoa. Photos. I used to be since game so dope for no reason. Uh, bigger or whatever. Two losers standing in line there here for Satan. Kinda of bumming me out. That's why I want the crowd. Look at all these emails in the mood. So Steve. Two pulls some teeth. I'm off worry. I'm using I remember there are rules down here. I still can't tell if hell is always hot or always cold. But I do know I'm still not always sweating Anyone know? Someone who died. Uh, wow, this this actually a cipher all this. Okay, now we gotta text that one girl. How do we text her? Guess we gotta go there. I don't know. What about being over here? I think the move is blocking the screen. We text her to get like um Yeah we can't do that. Where did she say she was going? Objects no. What about over here? There's beer over here. What's this place? Get an invite for that's where we should be going then. Get an invite from a demon named Phil. Alright, um. Oh, we know where we're going. What do we do now? Go inside. Can't just do that. We can. Is this the, uh, the VIP entrance? What gave it away? Was it the everything? Move to the side if you don't have passes. Okay, you're a demon with needs. I'm a demon, a human with needs. What can we do to make this happen? <laughs> you can go and get yourself an invitation. Are you sure? Wait, you know? Actually, let me check my math on. Yep, that would be the only thing. <sighs> okay. Looks like those guys weren't kidding. I think we need to get an invite. You do. Yep, we should regroup with Sam, figure out our next step. This is a dead end. We take Sam. All right. I keep talking to us, bro. How do we take? How do we talk to Sam? I don't know how to talk to Sam. Where did where these pictures come from? How do we talk? To Sam is ugly. Oh my god. I mean, it's a demon, so it's like of course, but still. Sam, how do how do we? You over here? Okay, if we need to go over there, um, so they want me to press. I couldn't be more confused right now. Alright, can we tell Sam to come pick us up? We gotta go to the social app and text her. 
If you actually gotta go look for Sam, that'd be funny. Nope, nope, wasn't blocking anything. I just don't know how to text or objects done. We have no objects here. Let's go here first. Oh wait, no, we gotta go all the way back downstairs to go to Sam. Oh, I'm retarded. Wanna go all the way to uh, the bottom or take the long way? All the way to the bottom. Express, please. The full ride. You got it. Going back down. Spent there for like three minutes doing nothing. Trying to figure out how to talk to Sam with Wiki. I would honestly be so scared doing this. How high up he was. There's people waiting. Oh, my feet are really sore. They got me pushing boulders up mountains all day now. It's good for your hamstrings, but some cardio wouldn't hurt, you know? Well, your feet are sore. You're not the one wearing heels. Taxi. Riding in the taxi. Roll the window up. Roll the window down. Put the money through the side. See you I'll later. Thanks a lot. Normally people are more covered in blood and viscera. But far be it for me to tell you how to live. We didn't even get in. Who could have warned us? Hey, oh, you Sam, could have you could have warned us about the eternal line to get in. I heard someone talking about the fucking Joe Lock Empire. That shit hasn't been around for like 500 years. Oh, we have a plan, though. There's some people have invites, and some people have uh, have spares. So. so you wanted to get invited to cut the line? Yeah, I don't need the damn transcript. Whose tree do you want to shake first? There's a demon in uh, Bobblin Park. He says he need help catching somebody. But there's also a human woman who just wants a drink. But we so know it can't just be that, or else it would all be shut my mouth. Ah, that's a case of too many good ideas. It's like 30 years old. Guess you got some picking to do. All right, so it was either... What is this one again? I gotta remember. Getting tits from the deep and they fell. Okay, so we either just give a lady um, a beer and we help that one random demon. Let's try that, honestly. Let's go. Let's try Linda first. Right? I know it sounds too easy, but maybe it is. Oh, I just want on the record that this is a try. Anyway. I'm going to continue this another time. We're going to Linda to figure out if she really just wants a beer. I feel like something over, something just over the top is about to happen for no reason. Because, I mean, like, it can't be that easy. It's probably going to take us a while to get into Satan's house, actually, and just over drinking. Imagine the game was actually that fast. I would be disappointed. So far, very good. Um, hit the subscribe button. Let me comment a few more.